Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about how to make your own cryptocurrency. So it is important to keep in your mind that there are two type of cryptocurrencies. One is coin and the other one is token. So the main difference between coins and token is that coins they have their own blockchains. For example, Bitcoin is a coin. It has its own blockchain. Ethereum is a coin. It has its own blockchain. Now, there is other type of uh, cryptocurrencies that are token. Basically, they are using the blockchain or the backbone that are already built. For example, uh, 10x pay. I have the list here, uh, some of the most famous ones, and the, and the list is endless. 10x pay, storage, MySco, EOS, BAT, and Civic are all uh, ERC20 tokens. So, I'm going to get to this very quickly and I'm going to tell you how to build your own cryptocurrency from scratch and I'm going to keep this very very simple and this is for beginners and I'm not going to talk about how to have your own IDE and how to have the package like uh, Ethereum in Sublime Tree, those kind of stuff. Maybe I add those videos later on. So let's do it and start from now. So the first thing we need is the actual code, it's a basic of your token. Now we are going to make an ERC20 token that is a basically that is a Ethereum smart contract. So what you can do is actually building your coin from the bottom exactly telling him, telling him what to do in case of transfer, what to do in case of um, uh, in initial how many coins the owner has, how to send it, how to receive it and all those kind of stuff. So this is the basic code. And all you need to do is go to the Ethereum GitHub um, Solidity um, IDE and paste your token right there. So this is my, my basic code and let's look at the code raw. You can also copy it from here, it doesn't matter. So paste it in this place. Now we have the code. So if the colors are yellow here, it doesn't matter, it's a warning. And if it's red, then you have the error. So the first thing we see is a bunch of code. Uh, you don't have to be worried about uh, anything that you don't understand. The most important part is here. I'm going to put a comment for you. Change here, okay? Change here, change here, and uh, leave it. and leave it. So the first thing is your coin name. It can have spaces and all sorts of stuff. Let's call this uh, crypto coop token. And this is the symbol like 10 pay or BTC. Let's call it CCX. And this is going to be your initial uh, um, supply, how many coin you want to have initially. And this is going to be the decimal places. Um, this is quite hard to understand, but basically what it is, is how many times do you want each coin to be um, divided to? It can be divided to 18 times, so you will have a lot more uh, coins and stuff. So leave it on 18 and leave this on 10,000. And uh, if you want to look at the code, I, I'm not going to go through this a lot, but what it is, is very simple. For example, it's pure English. Transfer. This is for transferring money, right? Let's look for it. Here it is. We have transfer. Transfer, transfer, transfer. Okay, transfer function. So what this function does? Require. Think of require as uh, you're telling your code, make sure if it doesn't, uh, if, it, if it is not, break and stop right here. So require, the from is the balance of the sender and two is the wallet of the receiver, not the balance, sorry, the wallet of the receiver. So make sure the, the balance of the wallet of the sender is bigger or equal to the value that is trying to send. Very simple. It is crazy. So simple. Second, this is for overflow. You don't need to know. Uh, the last one, balance of the, the wallet of the sender minus the value that he's trying to send and then the balance of the receiver plus the value that he's receiving. Very simple. I'm sending $100. 
make my balance minus 100. If I have 200, my balance is going to be 100 and the receiver plus 100 and transfer. That's it. You don't need to be worried about that. Um, okay, cool. Great. Once you have this running, one uh, we are going to run this on a testing environment because we don't want to pay for a gas actually we don't want to pay for a ethereum gas or we don't want to pay for the real transaction and just test our coin because it's going to cost us uh, almost like 32 dollars for testing or making uh, a coin so now we need to uh, install a google plugin that let us try and test this in a testing environment because we don't want to actually do our debugging using a real um smart contract because that way we have to actually pay for the gas money we have to pay like $30 so go to your google and search for metamask.io okay look at this <laughs> once you're here go ahead and ask for the google chrome to, to install this plugin let's work fast let's work fast it's too easy come on guys so once you have it you see the icon right here on top top right click on it accept scroll down accept put some uh, funky password create uh, these are your uh, mnemonic words uh, these are your key uh, registration um, passwords these are if you lose your account if you lose your wallet they call these uh, mnemonic words they can restore your wallet so basically if somebody has this they can take your wallet and take all your money so be careful very very be very very careful add this to your notepad and and encrypt it oh, i'm going to talk about encryption later and save it somewhere okay so say say yes you can download it too and yes i copied cool we are here all right so uh once we have this wallet uh, first, let's go to uh, Rupstein uh, test network because we are going to test. We don't want to really take our uh, Ethereum for uh, transactions. So let's uh, buy some fake Ethereum. Go to the Rupstein test network and request one Ether. And let's do many times. Click on this. Okay, and keep let's looking at our fake wallet and let's get happy buy our fake money now we have zero right watch the magic so this is going to send us some uh, fake ethereum to the current account and also why this ethereum is coming let's go back to our uh, solidity IDE and look at this this is actually uh, speaking to our browser because if I refresh this page look at this address right i'm going to refresh this page and hopefully my new address will show look at this we see that now uh the address that we have here oxda 40 blah 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 is right here so this plugin is communicating with our web page because we are in the test environment we want to kind of be connected to uh that wallet so yeah, we have 12 Ethereum. We have $12,000. Good, I wish life was so easy like this. So once you have this money, now let's go to our um, IDE. And as simple as it sounds, press create. And as soon as you press create, uh, this wallet asks you, do, are you sure you want to uh, run this contract? Yeah, it is really real, you know, even though we are on the test environment and here I right, test net. If you are not in the test environment, it's really going to run this. And press submit. And once you have uh, submitted this, we see this. Click on this. And we are waiting for a miner to pick up your contract. Okay, somebody picked up my contract. It took uh, 20, uh, 26... Uh, I'm going blind, I think. It's, it took 26 seconds. Once you have this copy the entire contract ID and go to your uh, Rupstein test wallet and click on token and say you want to create token using this contract look at this it recognize the the value and um, 
that's that's what it is. Even you don't need to put the decimal. Press add. Congratulations, you have your own CCX. You have your own coin, and if you go to the Ethereum scan, even though it's Rubstein, is a fake page, you can see this is called a CryptoCoop token. And I am the owner of CryptoCoop token now, and I have this much coin. And you, welcome to the ICO initial coin offering phenomenon. When a owner, when a owner of the coin has the most majority coin and here we are now I have my own coin and I can sell it to the public and if somebody want to buy 100 from me well right from here I can send this to uh, if you buy 1000 from me I'm going to come to my wallet right here I'm going to select this and I'm going to send this much amount to your address it is easy right that's it so guys, uh, thank you for watching with, with this video. I, I hope I was uh, quite concise and I was quite clear. And I've been told that I'm not really clear when I say stuff and that's because I'm a programmer. And when you do programming for some time, you become a little bit crazy like me. So if it is not clear, make sure to leave a comment. I'm going to leave my email too. And you can email me and we can talk together. So thank you for watching, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe if you like this channel. Thanks.